Hi, I'm Tony Preston. Today I'd like to talk about releasing the coronal suture. The coronal suture is here. It extends from one temple or sphenoid wing across the top of the head to the other sphenoid wing or temple. So this coronal suture here separates the frontal bone from the parietal bone. It has a specific architecture. It has a pivot in the center, and laterally, the parietal bone overlaps the frontal bone, and medially, the frontal bone overlaps the parietal bone. Let's look at a couple of individual bones. This is a frontal bone here. This is a parietal bone. This is a nice model because the joints fit together well. My parietal bone is pretty flexible in this model, and so I can see that if I turn it like this, I can lift that parietal bone off of the frontal bone because the frontal bone has this underlapping suture and this parietal bone has this overlapping suture laterally. The opposite is happening medially. If we look at it medially, this parietal bone has an underlapping suture and the frontal bone has an overlapping suture. It's made so that the bones pivot here in the center, allowing this external edge or this uh, lateral edge to externally rotate well, and this medial edge to internally rotate well. It makes it difficult to internally rotate the parietal here, and difficult to internally rotate the frontal bone here. Distraction of the suture is pretty straightforward. We're looking to simply put our thumbs on either side and separate it in most instances. Because of the pivot here in the middle, which we need to be mindful of, we would, we would take the parietal bone a little deeper on the medial aspect to pull it out from under the frontal bone, and take the frontal bone a little deeper laterally to pull it out from under the parietal bone. Oftentimes you feel a little swollen places in the suture along through here, and a little bit of gentle distraction with light pressure given time will cause the swelling to go down as the bones disarticulate. This whole suture can be worked gently in little sections from bregma here at the middle of the head to uh, the sphenoid wing here. 